a grande white chocolate mocha with extra cream. This is what it looks like when your track car becomes your daily. It's cool at first, but after a while it gets very annoying. I honestly wasn't planning on vlogging today. Today was supposed to be my day off and I wasn't gonna do it. So now I'm really backed up on all my uploads for today. I'll explain it when we get inside. On Sundays, we have our podcast. Yesterday being Saturday, we totally forgot that we had to film it for this Sunday, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take Sunday off, film the podcast in the morning right now with Calvin, and then just upload that, edit it, get ready to go. But I also forgot that I had to edit yesterday's video, so that video could go up today, which is actually yesterday's video for you guys. Zach hit me up, and Zach was like, yo, when we are at the track, I blow up my subframe mounts and my diff bushings, so can I please come over today, and you can help me like switch out my, my old ones for my new ones, so that when we go to the track in two days, I can go on the track and still drift, and can I pick up the tires that we got? Yeah, we can do that, just let me finish the podcast, and let me edit, and let me get ready, and then once that stuff goes live, you can come over here, and we can do your ends on, then get ready for Tuesday. Then I was like, fuck, it. I should just vlog because I know you guys say you want to see that so I was like screw it I'll do it so yeah it's time to shoot the podcast if you are not subscribed to the podcast channel be sure to subscribe to the podcast channel we discuss a lot of fun things and it's a way for us to connect with you guys in a way that's not about cars and it's a cool just open discussion. There's no edits, they're about an hour long. There's soon to be released on iTunes and SoundCloud, not yet, but soon. Link in the description. I mean it depends. I mean you can you can get some crazy stuff with some high miles. Um, but if just finished the podcast. Now I'm editing the vlog that goes out today, which technically goes out in two and a half hours. I'm just gonna make the upload time. Zach's coming over and we're gonna help fix his car. I've purposely been putting less and less music in these vlogs. If that is something you have noticed, have you liked it or have you not liked it? Not putting music in makes it a lot easier for me to edit. It makes it go faster, but if you guys don't like it, I will be sure to put more music in the vlog. Just finished the edit, uploaded it to YouTube. Now it's time to clear everything out of the warehouse, move the tires around, and I'm gonna clear some space for the lift. But yesterday I moved all these tires here for the thumbnail, and now I have to single-handedly put them back. I don't know if it's just me, but the smell of tire, this is gonna be kinda weird. It's so good, it's so good. I can't even describe how happy all of this makes me. This makes me happy. Debating cleaning the 350 right now. I'm not sure if it's worth it if it is in two days We're gonna go to the track, but it is dirty and I am curious to see if I can get out all of this tire mark I'm just curious if I can just hose it off probably not. I would I would imagine not Days like today where I'm like at the warehouse all day I Live off of easy Mac. I used to be the biggest macaroni fan when I was a kid even to this day, macaroni is what saves the day. Hey, that rhymed. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I'm spilling everywhere. Did you just break that saw? Yeah, a second one down. Oh, Calvin is gonna be Russell. I have like 80 of these in my car. That's actually Calvin's dad's saw. Is it? <laughs> yeah, we still. I mean, it's a saw. It's I mean, like, okay. It's. Hey, Alright. Who makes these? PBM. Is there a PBM? I can fucking Why don't you just drill it out? That's like a jigsaw from like real force cube. He's trying to get the bushings out of his subframe so that we can drift or that he can drift on Tuesday. Normally you can like light it on fire and you burn it out or you have like a certain saw, but we don't have those tools here. So Zach is being forced to figure out a way to get him out. Wish Zach some luck. Yeah, see it's coming out. We've now resorted to just pouring gasoline on the bushing and then dropping a match on it. Hey, oh. we call Sheldon and ask him to please 
stop. We have tons of flammable shit in here. I was gonna say, we have that, that gas RC nitro fluid. This is a terrible idea, guys. I do not recommend any of you. Oh my fucking god, Zach. What are you doing? You fucking idiot. Okay, don't kid. Do you, Zach? Well, let it burn out. What are you doing? I'm what? Yeah, I see that. Like I said, this is a terrible idea. Please do not do what we are doing right now. Now you're burning the fucking plastic. This is what not to do with gas. And Zach, on the leaves? Really? Shit, this is a terrible place to be doing this. I haven't been talking about it recently, but a move that I'm getting ready to make is getting a big truck to trailer this car. I really want to take the drifting more seriously, and it's something that I'm really passionate about and have a, a lot of fun doing. And I currently have that Frontier that is actually my parents, but I, they let me borrow it a lot whenever I need it. And I've been advised that trailering with a V6 is probably not the best idea that I could do. The Frontier is rated at towing at five or at 6,000 pounds. With the trailer in the car, I'd be towing around 5,500 pounds. That would be pushing it for my truck. And the more and more Joe brings his truck around, makes me think maybe I should just get a big V8 truck and use that to trailer. So I've been debating a bunch of different cars, debating a bunch of different ideas. Everyone that I'm friends with wants me to get something like that. I was wondering sort of thinking like a Silverado or a Raptor is what I've really been wanting, but everyone talks shit about Raptors, aka Zach. I'm playing with the idea, so if any of you guys are truck owners or have experience of that, Leave some comments down below with some possible good trucks that I could that I could get that aren't totally and it's gonna kill the bank because let's be honest, I've already spent way too much money on this car and spending more money for a truck would just suck. I would help my parents sell the truck that they have now and then when I get the new truck and pretty much just buy it and like just give it to them and then borrow it whenever I need it. I don't want to be just upgrading a car because they, they've been talking about how they want to get a new truck and I was thinking I could just buy it for them and then use it when I want. So I don't have to fully buy a truck, but I know I'm only gonna be using it for like a small amount of time. That's just a crazy idea, a crazy plan that I've been thinking about. I don't know if it's gonna happen or when it's gonna happen, but I do know at some point I will want a truck for myself to start towing for the 350. I don't wanna drive this to the track every single time because like you saw in the last time, I almost didn't get home. And I know one of these times I'm gonna fuck something up and I'm gonna be stranded. I'm gonna have to pay for a very expensive trailer to come pick me up, I do not want to do. But I'm done here, let's go home. Oh. Oh. It's been a while since I've had the daily back. The GTR is my daily, that's kind of what it's turned into. But I think once the BRZ is done and that's more like drivable, I think I'll balance the GTR and the BRZ between dailies. But for, for the past couple months, the GTR has for sure been the daily. Tonight is me and Sabrina's six month anniversary. So I'm gonna end it here early to go spend some time with her. Bros, thank you so much for watching another daily vlog. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to do that and give this video a thumbs up because likes do a lot for me and they help me out. So please, bros, be sure to do that. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward. Okay, having that being lit next to that gas can kind of Dumbest shit I've ever seen someone do.